I get a lot of questions from you guys about the stuff that you're gonna need when you start training. I've gotten all kinds of questions about it. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you guys what I put in my gym bag when I'm headed to the gym or when I'm traveling and all the stuff that I, I use for jiu-jitsu from the geese and all that stuff to the little things that you may not think about. And hopefully this is helpful to you guys, especially if you're new with jiu-jitsu. Guys, so the first thing you're gonna need if you are gonna train jiu-jitsu is a set of sandals. And I like to have my water bottle over there with my sandals. Now, the reason why it's so important to have the sandals, I'll tell you like I tell my kids, I'll ask my little kids sometimes because they'll want to run back and forth on the mat with no shoes. And like when they get off the mat, and I'll ask them, hey, would you go to the bathroom and wipe your face all over on the bathroom floor? And they'll go, ooh, no, I wouldn't do that. And I'm like, why? And they'll say, well, because it's got pee pee poo poo germs in there. And I'll tell them like, yeah, so if you walk in on the bathroom with no shoes on, and then you walk back on the mat, you're bringing those pee pee poo poo germs back on the mat. And again, for the adults, we can get rid of the language now, but again, that leads to skin irritations, ringworm and all that kind of stuff and infections. So you wanna make sure that when you step off the mat, you have a set of shoes. When you step on the mat, take your shoes off. Now let's kind of go through some of the things that I'll put in my gym bag. And then we'll also go to my car. I keep a couple things there in my car that I use, especially after training and sometimes before training that I'll show you towards the end of the video. So first you're gonna have to have a gym bag. Now I've got this one from Gameness. It's a top loading one, like a big duffel bag. I like it. It's got a little support in the back, um, but it's a nice bag that they sent me. You might prefer a bigger bag or a, like a zip up one from, it's kind of like this. So first things first, you're gonna need some athletic tape. You have to have it. You're gonna get a lot of mat burns and your fingers are gonna all get all messed up and you'll need to buddy tape them. So go ahead and have some mat tape with, or some uh, athletic tape with you on hand. Just stuff it into your gym bag. There it goes. The next thing is a set of nail clippers. You need to have them with you. Now this is important because um, it could be really dangerous. So your fingernails and your toenails as well. I actually got cut by a toenail once. I closed my, I saw a foot coming towards me. The toenail slit my eyelid open. Um, and I've seen people who have had permanent damage done by an accidental eye poke, but their nail was long. And so again, it's really, really important that your nails are trimmed up because an accidental eye poke is gonna happen at some point and, that, and you don't wanna like leave scratch marks all over the place. The next thing, and you don't necessarily need this, but this is something I keep in my bag. I keep tea tree oil. This stuff seems to work better for me as far as ringworm goes than some of the other stuff that's out there like the over-the-counter creams. Now again, talk to your doctor and do all that stuff because I don't wanna give you medical advice, but like when it comes to things like ringworms and that kind of stuff, I'll throw some tea tree on after a shower. This one's cut with a little bit of coconut oil so it doesn't irritate the skin, but that's one of the things I use. The next thing that I'll, I'll have, and I typically keep this if I'm traveling, my gym stuff stays here, so I typically have all this stuff in the back in my office already. If I wasn't an owner of the gym, this is what I would put in my bag, or if I'm traveling, kind of the same way, I keep all this stuff in there. I'll have some BCAs and some some, some, some sort of uh, dextrose-based powder for workouts. No caffeine in it, but it'll give me some quick acting sugar. So this way, if I missed a meal for some reason, or if for some reason I'm feeling a little drained, or if I lifted earlier and I need a little bit more energy, I can take the dextrose and the BCAs and I feel a lot better for my workouts. I've got my Nogi stuff here. And then I always carry, even back when I wasn't Here's my, my gi stuff. And I always carry both gi and no gi stuff to the gym. Even if it's supposed to be a gi day or no gi day, I always have both. Even when I visit other gyms, I'll have both just in case, because you never know. I've had several situations where I went to an open mat and I thought it was gonna be a no gi day or something and then it was gi or vice versa. So again, I just like to have them both with me just in case, because you never know. If you haven't started training yet, I would advise you to go ahead and get two sets of rash guards and two sets of gis as soon as possible, just so you can rotate them through so that you don't have to like, let's say if you're gonna do a two a day, you don't have to like wash and dry the ghee really quickly so you have some time, or so that you don't like go back to the gym later on with a stinky ghee, right? So you can just rotate them through. The last thing inside of this gym bag, and this is kind of a new addition to my stuff, is it's this bag from a company called Stinky, Stinky Bag. S-T-N-K-Y, Stinky Bag. My girlfriend got me this stuff back in, I guess it was for Christmas, and these bags are amazing. Like, they're really, really cool. So I started using them, and you can stick all your nasty, stinky clothes in there, and, um, and then again, you can either wash them inside. This little zipper unzips and the mesh comes out, so you can wash them in the washer just as is. Or if you've got a gi, it's just too much bulk in there and you need to dump them out. But what I really like about this, and if, you, if you're a guy like me and you have a, a wife or a girlfriend at home, who like gets irritated by all your stinky no gi stuff and your gi stuff or whatever. Um, I, I, 
This bag, I know I'm a disgusting mongrel, but this bag has actually got my Nogi stuff from last night. It's about 72 degrees outside, so it's pretty warm. It's been sitting there and it's festering, but can't really smell anything. Spartan, you smell anything? Mm -mm. It's pretty good. So if you've got like a nasty, stinky set of clothes sometimes and your girlfriend or wife wants to just get go crazy on you because you're, you're gross like I am, uh, you can stick it in this bag and it's so much easier to deal with. Also when I travel and, and like I'm doing seminars and stuff like that and the hotel doesn't have a washing machine, I can just hand this to someone and they don't have to like dig through all my stuff. They can just unzip it, dump it in the washing machine and be done with it. And then let me show you guys a couple of things that I keep in my car. That I use before and after training depending on what's going on. When I'm headed to the gym, if I like drink coffee, or if I eat like a really spicy or pungent sort of smelling meal, I'll have some gum, right? So again, gum or mints. I carry mints in the gym. And uh, just letting some of you guys know if like you smoke, like smoke weed or anything like that, your breath might stink. And again, some people don't care, but for people like me that are super sensitive about it, like my sniffer, I got a good sniffer. And so it, it bothers me a little bit. So I try to keep my breath smelling good. And if someone's comes in with some really stinky breath, I'll hand them a mint just so I can roll with them. After I'm done training, typically I'll take this little thing and this is just a little hand um, extender band thing. Um, I'm sure they got a better name than that. Um, I'll put a link down below for the company here. After you're done training, you know, you've been spending a ton of time doing this for the last couple hours, whether you're in gi or no gi. And if you've been one of those people where your hands are curled up and you're like, God, my hands are starting to ache. This can be a good tool. Well, what you do is you just go in and practice opening the hand up. So you're opening the grips up, holding back and forth and then you can start to open your wrist and move them around a little bit. And so as I'm driving home, I've got about a 20 minute drive home, I'll just practice doing this over and over again. I'll switch hands back and forth, and that helps fight some of the imbalance of <laughs> some of the gripping that we do. So you're kind of doing the opposite. You're working all these muscles here that are focused on extension rather than all the, the flexing and tightening up muscles. All right guys, so that's the stuff that I bring with me in my gym bag. That's the stuff I keep in my office. That's the stuff that I put in my car associated with jiu-jitsu training. So hopefully that's useful to you guys, especially if you're newer and you're in jiu-jitsu or you're getting ready to start and you're not sure all the stuff that you might need at some point. So hopefully that'll kind of give you a good idea of what you might need when you get started. If you carry something, if you're training already and you put something into your gym bag, that I did not put into it or into mine, let me know. Put it down in the comments below. Let me know what you put in your gym bag that I missed. And um, hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And I'll talk to you next time.